Hi guys, I am back with another video. I made this video before. I lost the the um, video. I think I erased it, did something. But anyway, this is about um, being a YouTuber is not easy. I'm gonna tell you why I feel like being a YouTuber is not easy because with most situations, um, in my situation, I'm gonna go by me. I tell y'all how it is, what I really have going on. It's really me, it's no sugar coating, nothing. It's really how it is. And a lot of people get on there and they'll comment and they'll, you know, make mean comments and stuff like that. And when I first started, it like really bothered me that people would really do something like that. You're sharing your life or sharing your experience or sharing whatever you got going on. And then they can come out the side of their face with negative stuff. Like, so it's just, it's just hard. Like my situation with my mouth, like right now I have a retainer in and um so it makes me do certain things with my mouth and it makes me sound funny sometimes but anyway like i was saying i have retainers and it make me sound funny and i've had surgery in my mouth and i had one person saying oh she ain't have that she's telling you sir i mean what's the point in me telling a story about the fact that i have retainers and the fact that i had surgery in my mouth like what what am i getting out of that that ain't getting me nowhere that's what's going on with me and that's why I said it. So then somebody commented saying, now don't you feel stupid because she was talking about the way I talk or the way I do certain things. And the person came up and told them, don't you feel stupid because the fact that I said I had surgery on my mouth, I had some stuff going on, this and that and the other. You know, I apologize if you don't like the way I sound, but don't watch my videos. You don't like the way I sound. And apparently you watched my whole video because you was talking about everything that was going on in the video, but you can't stand the way I'm talking. Like, stop watching my video. Like seriously and that's the thing that gets a lot of us that's on youtube like don't watch my video if you don't like me if you don't like the way i talk look whatever the way i act or any of that don't watch my video there's no need to leave negative comments about stuff you know some of the stuff be funny that they might say or something like that yeah it's it's funny but some of the stuff is like for what what's your point like i had one person on there that said when i sat there and i did the video of me shaving my edges off. Like I sat there and I shaved my edges off. I sat there explain that I shaved my edges off because it's been a year and my hair hadn't grown back. I had my edges pulled out by twist. I sit there explain all of that. They had a nerve to say, can't you see the side of her head? She put fake skin on the side of her head. You sitting there watching me shave my head but I put fake skin on the side of my head. Like there was no cut in between that, that video or none of that. Like it was a straight on video. But I put fake skin on the side of my head, but you sit right there and watch me. Like, really? People come up with the craziest stuff, like, for real. I'm going to come on here and put fake skin on the side of my head and act like I'm shaving my head. Like, no. So, like, that's stuff YouTubers have to deal with. And my son want to do this YouTube stuff. But I'm like, you know, I have to monitor his stuff because if somebody say something out the side of their face and my child is only 8 years old, I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to have a problem with me. You know, I'm to the point I'm like, whatever. It is what it is, I am me, and I'm gonna be me. What you see on these videos is me all day. Me personally, I don't change, I don't change. Like, like what you see is what you get. Like, stuff I talk about, stuff I do, is what's going on. When I do reviews on stuff, that's stuff I'm wearing, stuff I'm using, so why not do a review on it? Help somebody out, maybe save somebody some money or something, because I find a lot of good deals and I'll put it on here and let you guys know about it but some people got to be negative about everything if you don't like it don't watch it i'm here for the people that want to watch it i'm here to help me out because like this this is my venting place i vent on youtube and you know i come on here and i get help from other people because like situations with my hair or something that people may know like even my situation with my depo and all the cancer stuff and all that I put it on here because maybe somebody can comment and help me and a lot of people have helped me and maybe I can help somebody else. So don't be negative about what I'm doing and don't be negative about all these other YouTubers. You know, that's trying to do something good for somebody. Then you do have some that's that's on YouTube that's acting different than they normally would, but that's, that's what they want to do. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you feel like that's what they're doing, then don't watch it. Me personally, and people feel like, oh, you're being fake if, okay, for example, I'm chilling with my friends. I'll say certain things, uh, girl, bye, or, you know, act crazy, ha, 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 whatever, because I'm with my homegirls. But when I'm in a, a place of business, it's going to be something different. I'm going to 
be a different way. You got to know how to be what you need to be in whatever place you're in. So, you, you know, like, it's, it's not being fake. It's just, I know I'm in a business, I'm not gonna act out, or I'm in a church, I'm not gonna sit there and be dancing or doing little crazy dances and I'm in church, like, whatever I do in the club, if I go to the club, I'm not gonna do it in church and vice versa. Like, it's just not what you do. You got to know what you do in each environment so it ain't the fact that you're being fake or you're changing or you whatever no. but when i come on youtube it's how i am in real life it's, it's my everyday life like when i do these vlogs and stuff it's what i have going on or what i'm doing i'm talking about what i'm going through or what i got going on like it's not the fact of being fake it's the fact of i know my environment i know my environment and how i need to be in my environment you don't want to be acting like I like I act with my friends, acting all crazy. I don't want to go to an interview acting like that. What's up, girl? You know, and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to do that. That's that's not what I want to do at a job. Like, I'm trying to get a job, but I'm in there acting crazy or acting like I would act with my friends. Got to know your position. Stay in your position. Know how to act in certain places. And there's some, that's part of some of the reasons, like, some people don't know certain things because they act the same way all the time and some people are like ghetto and I, I hate around people that are ghetto because I can get ghetto sometimes you know what I'm saying it's all according to the situation but you got to know when you go in that job you can't be acting that that way that's just what it is and you know I am who I am I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be and I feel like um like like uh Lloyd and his song um please accept me for who I am please accept me who I you know what I do a lot of times people feel like they need a set acceptance they need to be accepted by somebody or a group of people or whatever and I mainly went through that when I was younger but you know I got old and I thought about it you know I don't need anybody to accept me but my family you know like it's, it's really not that serious like if I have friends I have friends if I don't I don't if you don't like what I do, don't be around me. That type of thing, you know. But people mainly have that acceptance thing when they're in school because you're always around people and you have to be in that situation. When you're in your job, you do have to be around people too, but you don't have to necessarily interact too much with them and on a personal level. When you're younger, you kind of have to. So you're feeling like you need to be accepted and it's hard for a lot of people, like, me personally, I don't need to be accepted by anybody at this point, but my family, I need them to love me for who I am and stuff like that. But people try to, I guess, you know, I guess you want to be accepted. I guess you do. But, like, you don't have to change who you are. Put it that way. You don't have to change who you are because a lot of people feel like, I want to fit into this group. I have to do this to fit into this group. Me personally, I am who I am when I go hang out with somebody. This is who I am. If you don't like it, then hey. I don't need to fit into your group. You know, if, if we click, we click. And a lot of times that's what it is at this point. We click, we click. I don't need to change the way I act or the way I do whatever I do to hang with you. If I need to do that, then yeah, we're not cool. So, and I try to teach my kids that, that you don't have to fit into no group. You don't have to fit into no group. If anything, they want to be your friend, then you know they're going to accept you for how you are or what you do and you know, how you live or your, your values, your morals, and stuff like that. You don't have to go and try to be hard because this group want to be, or you got to be all prissy because this group want to be, or whatever. No, if they want to be your friend, they'll be your friend no matter what. That's something I learned too from being in school because I had friends and I was like very goofy and I used to always act and they always laugh at what I'm saying. And I had some people that really didn't care for me, but they didn't know anything about me. They didn't know anything about me. Some people said, Oh, I was so quiet and this and the other. I see you thought I was quiet because I didn't talk to you, but I hung out with who I hung out with and they knew I would make them laugh and stuff like that. So, you know, just being accepted, like being on YouTube, it's just like, sometimes people feel like they need to do certain things to make people want to talk to them or want to watch them and stuff like that. Sometimes you do things to grab somebody's attention or something like that. Sometimes I might do something crazy just to like get some attention sometimes. Sometimes it happens. It's just the way it is, you know. But, you know, at this point, I don't feel like I have to fit in with anybody. Now, I might do something to get somebody's attention, like I said, but to try to fit in, no. That's, that's just not me at this point. Maybe when I was younger, I felt like I needed to until I started finding out who my real friends were. 
and then I didn't have to do it anymore. So, you know, life is what it is. And like I tell my son, you know, we'll try to get him together with this YouTube thing and stuff like that. But it hurt my heart for somebody to say something negative to my eight-year-old. Somebody say something negative to my eight-year-old and I'm gonna be ready to say something to them. I'm gonna be ready to say something to them because that's just not what you do. And some people are so negative and so mean they would just say whatever they, they're going to say to an eight-year-old. This is an eight-year-old. You can't say things that you would say to a grown-up to an eight-year-old. You really shouldn't be saying it to nobody. Like they used to say, if you can't say nothing nice, don't say it at all. I'd rather you do that. And that's why a lot of times I'll, I'll say, like most of my beginning videos, I would say, comment below, but nothing negative and stuff like that. Because nobody wants to keep hearing something negative. You want to be negative go the other way with all that like i try to be positive sometimes i have my down days sometimes i have my up days but for the most part i'm trying to you know get help with certain things i'm trying to put stuff out there because you know maybe somebody's going through some of the same things that i'm going through maybe i can help them you know or maybe i'm going through something that somebody else already been through it and maybe they can help me so you know just just being a YouTuber is not easy sometimes. At the beginning, it's harder than once you get into the motions or like I'm doing my vlogs and stuff, I kinda, you know, let out some things and stuff like that. But one thing I will say is, you know, most of the stuff that I got going on, I kinda tell you guys or whatever. But for the most part, like when I'm at work or I'm out somewhere, sometimes people never know when I'm upset because I'm always smiling. They would never know I'm upset because I'm always smiling. And I'm gonna tell you why that is. Because for one, in the workplace, you don't want all that, that negative energy. Two, when you're out somewhere, if you're with your friends, you don't wanna be a downer, you know? So you kinda hold it in. And three is sometimes I just don't want people in my business. It's just not your business, so it's just not something I wanna talk about. So hold it in, keep a smile on my face, and keep going. But um, sometimes you do have to let it out, sometimes you do have to vent, and you have to know the right people to vent to like I can't vent everything on here not every single thing like if I got into it with you know one of my best friends over something very serious then I probably won't share that on here but other than that this is like my life this is this is what I got going on or, you know something like that I, I won't share nothing like too too personal that part you, you probably won't get out of me nobody probably get that out of me but my family and stuff like that you know because this is youtube you know you don't want all your business out there and something they have to remember as being a youtuber is if you're not only doing youtube which i'm not only doing youtube because you know i got a job and stuff like that so i don't have time to just be doing a youtube is if you're working a job they can pull up your youtube stuff so you don't want to be with nothing too crazy so that's that's when you have to play your role like i said you have to know your position you know you have a job you know your job can look up your stuff just like on your facebook your social media and all that stuff they can look at this stuff so you have to be smart with it and ain't about being fake it's about being smart you have to be smart pay, play your role and know when and when not to act a certain way so that's just something i'm learning and i'm going to continue to do so you know you like it or you don't if you like it hey Give me a thumbs up on my videos. Keep watching my videos. I keep bringing you videos. And subscribe to my channel if you like, you know, my channel. But if you don't, don't be negative about it. You know what I'm saying? I know they have the thumbs down button and some people gonna press that. It is what it is. But all these negative comments, no need for that because being a YouTuber is not easy. And most of y'all that's out there that's being negative, I bet, I bet over half of y'all won't even put a YouTube page up. Y'all won't even start a YouTube channel and put your stuff up there. I bet half of y'all won't because y'all will feel some kind of way. Y'all will, y'all wouldn't like the, the things that some people say to you. So just think about that. Like my mom and dad always tell me, treat others as you will want to be treated. Would you want somebody to say the stuff you said to somebody else? Or, or better yet, if you got a child, you're gonna have a child. Would you want somebody to say the things? to them that you said to somebody else think about it like that so i try to try to live my life with that or i try to put myself in that person's shoes before i say something like you know somebody might have done something i might think 
Oh, I want to say this. So I think, no, nah, I won't want nobody to say that to me. You got, you got to think about it. So it's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, being YouTube is not easy. And I am who I am. I'm going to be who I'm going to be. I'm just me. Hey, like it or not. All right, guys, I just want to come, you know, share this right quick. I'm trying to do my little, my little, um, YouTube thing and just do my vlogs and stuff and then head into my house, go have me something to eat and then I'm gonna head out back to work. So, um, you guys be blessed and have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day because I surely will. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm healthy. Thank you.